Hi everyone, set theory. In this video, we will see the definition of set and representation of set and types of sets. First, definition of set. A set is an unordered, well-defined collection of objects. As de definition of set means it is an unordered, well-defined collection of objects. And these objects, we can call it as elements or the members of the set. And which can be a numbers, otherwise alphabets, otherwise it's a names. For example, here, the set of even numbers. This is the numbers. 2, 4, 8. These are the set of even numbers. Next example, the set of 12 months of a year. 12 months of a year means that is the names. Names. That is January, February, March, April, May, June, July. That is the name. That is also one of the set. Set means it is a well-defined collection of objects but order is not matter it is a uh, maybe order in or it is a unordered and notation here the symbol this is belongs to this is the sign of belongs to sign it is uh, read it as belongs to otherwise member of otherwise element of if for, for example a equals to 1 2 5 9 then 2 belongs to here a 5 belongs to a 1 belongs to a 9 belongs to A. If suppose if they ask 7, is a 7 belongs to A? No, it's not belongs to. So it is the, if I, if we do like cut means it is a not belongs to sign. It is indicated as a not belongs to, otherwise it is a not a member of, otherwise is not a element of. For example, here A is a, a, a is one set here, 1, 2, 5, 9 and 4 is does not belongs to A. Is a, A contains, a 4 is here? No, it contains only 4 elements that is the 1, 2, 5, 5, 9. So, 4 is does not belongs to A. So, you can read it as otherwise 4 is not a member of A. Otherwise, 4 is not an element of A. 7 is also not belongs to A. Otherwise, you can call it as A. 7 is not a member of A. Otherwise, 7 is not an element of A. So, the belongs to. This is the sign of belongs to. If it is not belongs to means you need to just cut it. It is not belongs to. Okay. We need to remember this one. Next is representation of sets. Representation of sets we can uh, uh, represent in a uh, two methods. Uh, first method is roster form otherwise tabular form. And second method is here set builder form and the rule method. Okay. Uh, first one is the roster form or tabular form. Roster form means we can write the elements of the set in a bracket, in a flower bracket. Okay. That is directly we will write the elements. That is called as a roster form, tabular form. In a roster form, all the elements of a set are listed. The elements are being separated by commas and enclosed within the brackets. And it is enclosed within the compulsory we need to put the brackets okay we need uh, we need to write the elements within the bracket and e each element between we need to put the commas we need to separate the elements by the commas okay we will write it directly here and the set builder form is a set builder form is a mathematical way to represent the set describing the properties of its elements instead of listing them. Instead of listing them, we need to describe the property. What is this one? 1, 2, 3. So, it is a natural set of natural numbers. If I write in a set of natural number, that is the set builder form. If I write directly 1, 2, 3, 4 means it is a roster form. If it is, what is this one? A, E, I, O, U. That is the vowels of the English alphabet. So, we, if I write the vowels of the English alphabet, it comes in the, if I write in a words, it is comes in a set builder form. If I write it directly elements, otherwise the alphabets directly means it will comes in a roster form. That is the difference between the roster and set builder form. So, example here, x, this is the sign of such that x is a positive integer less than 4. x is a positive integer less than 4. Less than positive integer less than 4 means 1, 2, 3. Okay. These are the positive integer because 0 does not have any sign and uh, uh, less than 0 are negative signs. So, if I write the same uh, example in a roster form means what it will come here? That is the a equals to 1, 2, 3 instead of if I write directly 1 2 3 means it will comes in a roster form if I write in a words otherwise if I described as a property of that uh, uh, numbers it is a positive integer and less than the 4 it is a 1 2 3 okay it is a not it is a less than 4 so we need to write the less than 4 less than or equals to 4 means we need to write 4 also okay so the, the same question they given in a symbolically also x belongs to z 
z plus means it is a positive integer z negative means it is a negative integers okay and x is less than 4 instead of writing in a word they wrote in a symbolically it is a less than sign it is a belongs to sign next we another one example here x is a whole number between 1 and 10 x is whole numbers between 1 and 10 means if i write in a roster form the same question means what is the answer it is a whole number between 1 to 10 so it is a 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 between 1 and 10 so between 1 and 10 here 1 is less than or equals to x is greater than or equals to 1 less than or equals to 1 so it includes 1 and 10 also okay so if you are right in the describing like uh, the the numbers we are describing in the property means it is comes in a set builder form hope all of you understood this one we will move to next next is types of set it is a very important to we need to uh, know the all the types of sets it is a very impo important so we will uh, read it uh, we will see it one by one okay first is null set null set empty set and otherwise you can call it as wide set the the definite the name itself is telling it's a empty set null set means the, uh, the set does not have any element it is called as a null set a set which does not contain any element is called the null set otherwise you can call it as empty set also otherwise you can call it as wide set also and it is denoted by you in the you, you have to denote it by like this it is a phi sign otherwise you can write it like this you don't supposed to write a, anything in the bracket of flower bracket if you write it will become one element so you have to give empty it is called as an empty set so here one example they have given here b equals to x square equals to 4 x is odd number is it possible no x square equals to 4 means x should be here 2 plus or minus 2 so x is not odd here x is plus 2 otherwise minus 2 but x is not odd so it is a null set b is contains null set next singulation set the word itself is telling singulation means it contains one element that is called as a singulation set a set contains only one element is known as a singulation set so for example a equals to 5 it contains only one element see another one example x is even prime number this is given in a which form set builder form okay if i write the same example in a roster form means b equals to it is a 2 only one even prime number that is 2 all remaining uh, prime numbers are odd only okay uh, 3 5 7 they all are odd only one even prime number we have so it is a 2 so it is it comes in a singulation set okay next finite set what is the meaning of finite finite itself telling it it, it is the countable it is a countable infinite means it's not countable so finite set a set containing a countable number of elements is called as the finite set for example months of the year we can count it it is the only 12 okay january february you can count it so it's a countable set we can call it as finite set vowels of the english alphabet we can count it so it is a finite set infinite set means a set contains uncountable number of elements is called infinite set for example a is a set of natural numbers natural number is a set of natural number it starts from 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 up to infinity it is not possible to count the, the set of uh, the stars stars also we, we, it's not possible to count so it is a infinite set of another one example x belongs to n here x is a multiple of 2 multiples of 2 means 2 4 6 8 10 12 16 18 20 22 24 26 28 30 32 34 these are all multiples of 2 so it is also uh, uncountable so it is an infinite uh, infinite set it comes in an infinite set so now we will move to the next type of set here that is the uh, here order set otherwise the cardinal set, cardinal number cardinal number means it is a uh, how many elements of the set that is called as the order set okay the number of elements of the finite set a is called as the cardinal number or it is denoted by the n of a otherwise you just you have to write in a uh, a right in between the two bar lines you can modulus and magnitude also you will denote with the same 
in between so listen here a is a set here for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 six elements is there so what is the n of a here the order of set is here 6 because it is it contains the six elements or six numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 a next example b it contains the four alphabets a b c d so n of b is here it is equals to four so order of set means it is the number of elements number of elements it can call it as cardinal number otherwise order set next equal sets next type of set is equal set equal set means we are comparing here two sets here a and b if all the elements also same and the number of orders order of the set also same means it is called as the equal sets okay i will read the definition here the two sets a and b are said to be equal if they have exactly same elements exactly same elements that meaning is if it is a contains one means b should also contain one and A contain 2 means B should also contain 2. A contains 3 means it should contain 3. Okay, exactly same elements and symbolically written as A equal to B. Such that the in a front bracket X belongs to A if and only if X belongs to B. The all the elements of A should be belongs to in the all the in the B set also. So here yeah, another one example they have given. See here X is the letter of flow. F L O W. Here, what are the alphabets used here? F L O W. Next, D here. X is a letter of wolf. So, here also contain the same uh, alphabets W O L F. So, here C is equal to D. So, C and D are here equal sets. Equal set means the A and B should have the equal if, if you have exactly same elements. Exactly the same elements. Remember that. Then only you can call it as it is a equal set equivalent sets equivalent sets means it should have uh, same number of elements that's it okay now we'll read it the definition here the two finite sets a and b are said to be equivalent if they have same cardinal number that is if they have the same number of elements a is e equal to here the given example here a equals to a e i o u okay five elements n of a equals to five b is here one two three four five b is also here five elements so n of a is also equals to five elements and n of b is also equals to five elements elements so the sets a and b are called it is here equivalent sets a and b are called it as here equivalent sets okay now we will move to the next next is subset a, a set is said to be a subset of b if every element of set A is also the element of set B. Every element of set A is also the element of B. Then only we can call it as A is a subset of B. Okay, symbolically how to write means A is subset. Subset symbol is here. You should write like this. And you need to write one line below. Example here. A equals to 1 comma 2, B belongs to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4. All the elements of A here, every elements of A here is also the elements of set B here. So 1 is also is here and 2 is also. Then only we can call it as A is a subset of B. Okay, here the some note is there. If at least one element of set A is does not belongs to set B, then A is not a subset of B. At least suppose in, in, in this case, if A equals to here, 1, 2, 5, okay, 1, 2, 5, and B you can take it the same set, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here, one element that is 5 does not belongs to B. Then you, you don't suppose to tell us here, A is subset of B. It's not possible. A is not a subset of B here. Okay, because why? Because here 5 is does not belongs to B. At least one element of set A does not belongs to set B, then the set A is not a subset of B. Understood? If uh, one, any one, at least one element which is does not belongs to B means that is the A is not a subset of B. And how to write it uh, symbolically means it is a by uh, A is not a subset of B. Okay? And phi and a given set always itself a subset. Phi null set and the set itself always a subset of itself only. 
okay if it is uh, a is given means what are the subsets of a what are the subset of a means the subsets of a is here subsets of a are null set and a a null set is also subset of a and a itself is a every set is a subset of itself and null set is also the subset of every sets okay the same example here 1 2 5 and 6 7 3 4 here both are different and the no elements of a is not belongs to b here so a is not a subset of b next super set superset if a and b are any two sets then b is called the superset of a if and only if a is subset of b but a is not equals to b okay so every element of a should belongs to b but a should not be equals to b then only you can call it as a is a uh, b is a superset of a so n of a is here 3 it contains 3 elements n of b is equals to 5 elements a is a subset of b but a is not equals to b then b is a superset of a okay next proper subset what is the meaning of proper subset As proper subset meant it should have the at least one element should be uh, at least one element of b should be uh, greater than a a and b are the two sets then a is a proper subset of b if every element of a is in b but there is at least one element of b that is not in a, a that is denoted by a is a proper subset of b it is a proper subset sign is just you write like a c like the subset means you need to write like this that meaning is it may be equal also both the sets are here may be equal also some in the some cases then only then also you can call it as it is subset but proper subset means a should be less than the b at least by one element okay every element of a should belongs to b at least one element of b does not belongs to a then it is the a is the proper subset of b proper subset sign is here just like just you denote the c it is a proper subset some note is there a is a proper subset of b b is called as a superset a is a proper subset of b then b is called as a proper subset of a which can also be written as a b you can write it b al reverse also it's a b is a superset of a and here a is not equals to b remember this one a is a subset of b and b is subset of a then a equals to b both are uh, subset to each other means then a equals to b it is a subset a is subset of b b is subset of a then a equals to b every set a is a subset itself every set a is a subset itself empty set and null set is also a subset of every set null set means phi phi is a subset of all the sets you can take it any set phi is subset of b also okay because empty set has no element because the empty set has no elements hi everyone and another one thing uh, this is the sets set theory is syllabus for both uh, bca bba bcom and pu first also class 11th also set theory so so it's not necessary to make a different video for all, all these our classes separately so you can refer the the same this video for all the classes thank you if you really like the videos means please subscribe the channel and please if you have any doubts any queries please uh, comment me and share it in the video share the videos to your friends and uh, students thank you